What's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here today. We're reboning the Roy Hibbert Denver Nuggets. Fuck the goddamn trade deadline, dude. Fuck this bullshit. Oh my god, dude. I've been sitting on my ass on my fucking computer in front of my Twitter for the best part of three, four hours waiting for some news to drop here and all sorts of shit about the boy. Where the fuck, where the fuck boy at, dude? Paul George saying how, oh, he might go to the Lakers. Oh, he might go to the Boston Celtics. Oh, fuck this dude. It's the most bullshit ass trades ever. Don't even fucking give me start on you 76ers, okay? Y'all traded, y'all traded Noel, right? Well, guess what? You took a fucking L because you traded Noel to the Mavericks for basically shit. You didn't get nothing for him, okay? You didn't get nothing for the man. Could've done so much better than that. Um, you know, you got about, got the fucking goddamn Roy Hibbert going to the fucking Devon Chicken McNuggets out there. You wanna fucking talk about big nuggets? Dougie McNuggets was the next best fucking trade going to the OKC Thunder. Yo, 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 li 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 listen up, Chicago Bulls. You realize you got no goddamn shooters on your team? You really got no goddamn shooters and you got a very angry Jimmy McBuckets? You really that shit, right? And you just trade your goddamn best shooter right there. You trade away Todd Gibson, who was, uh, you know, a pretty decent player himself. I mean, I don't understand it, guys. It was, it was the most whack-ass, boring-ass trade deadline that I've ever seen in my entire life. And then don't even get me started, guys. I, I, the, the, the last trade room, the last trade I heard of was Michael Scott going to the Phoenix Suns. You do realize that the bitch-ass Michael Scott of Dunder Mifflin blew a 3-1 lead to the goddamn uh, warehouse crew in season one of The Office? And y'all traded y'all traded for him. I don't understand, guys. It was so boring. It was nothing but hype. It was nothing but media hype. And really, you know, I'm going to say, guys, fake fucking news. It was fake news generated to get us all hyped up for bullshit. It was just boring as hell, guys. I mean, outside of the uh, Pelicans and Kings trade, and perhaps even Lou Williams going to the Rockets, which I think is a pretty nice move, what a boring-ass trade deadline this was. I mean, really, I mean, we might, we might as well just give LeBron James the Eastern Conference so we can wipe his ass with it again, guys, and get to the NBA Finals again, because ain't nobody going to compete this year, okay? I mean, Paul George or Jimmy Buckets to the Celtics would have been big time. That would have been so much fun. I mean, it would have actually put a legitimate competition in the Eastern Conference. And yeah, the Raptors are good. And yeah, the Celtics are still a good team. But damn, dude, this would have been like, this would really put him on the map and really pressure LeBron James. I mean, this is the most boring. <laughs> Fuck you, Andre Drummond. Fuck your bitch ass, okay? I'm a Pistons fan, you guys all know that, man. I'm a diehard Pistons fan, but fuck you, Andre Drummond, for posting them goddamn eyeball emojis thinking you some clown out there. You want to join the fucking circus? You want to be NB? You want to go be, be a fucking uh, clown or something? Go do it, man. Go join the goddamn circus, post your little emojis. And then I got my hopes about Reggie Jackson, bitch ass, getting traded to, um, I don't know, for Ricky Rubio, Ricky Tricky, who I would have taken. At least as a pass first point guard. Not some dude that's going to be out here just fucking taking 30 shots a game like he's, I don't know, like Kobe Bryant or something. I mean, just absolutely, guys. And, you know, the Pacers, you, you're going to lose the man, Paul George. You're going to lose him. Okay, you know this. You're not going to convince the man to stay. You ain't building no contender here, dude. You're building a fucking fourth or fifth seed, maybe. But ain't no, no contender. Paul George is going to walk away and you don't get shit for, dude. And you could have at least traded him to the Celtics. You, you did not need that pick. You did not need that pick, man. You could have got, like, a, a Jay Crowder, maybe an Avery Bradley, Marcus Smart, something like that. Something. But you're, gonna get not, you're not going to get nothing now. Pacers, just know that. I mean, but don't worry, Devin Nuggets, you all got the boy, Roy Hibbert, who was good like four or five years ago, ain't gonna do shit now, so sit your bench, and he was, well, fucking 277, two, gonna take a lot of space on that bench, too. Just saying. I mean, just overall, a boring-ass trade deadline, and it's like, you gotta take risks, you gotta take risks for your team to be successful, I mean, you really do, you know, if, if you know you're not gonna win it, or you know you're not gonna be a lottery team, then why the hell do you wanna be stuck in the middle, man? Why do you want to be stuck, Malcolm, in the middle? Just saying. Very frustrated, guys. I mean, I literally was waiting for something to go down. I had thumbnails made. I was ready to give you guys some great rebuilds, some great trade videos, and the NBA just let us all down with this boring-ass trade deadline, man. Let me know what you think about the uh, trades in the comment section below. I'll probably say, um, at the last second, the biggest W was probably uh, P.J. Tucker, who is a very underrated small forward going to the Toronto Raptors for Jared Solinger and two future second-round draft picks. Let me know what you all think. Peace out, my friends.